Okay, so for A6, uh, the sixth structured question, sodium and hydrogen react to form ammonia in Haber process. So we have this bond energy in this table given to us. Using the table information, calculate enthalpy change when hydrogen and nitrogen react to form ammonia and basically deduce whether is it exo or endo. Okay, so we need to remember, right, when you break your bonds, bond breaking, energy is absorbed. Okay, but when you are bond forming, energy is released. Okay, so when we talk about bond breaking, right, uh, you have to take note of all the bonds in the reactants and bond forming, you have to take note of all the bonds that are formed in the products. Okay, so you, you have to write out the, the reaction here, right? 3H2 gas, which is like H single bond H, three of them. And then you have two ammonia, not ammonia, two nitrogen, which is uh, N triple bond N, will give will give to you two NH3 gases. Okay, is it balanced? Two nitrogen okay, here. No, this one doesn't. This is one is to three. Sorry. So it should be one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen. Okay, so this molecule here, right, has N single bond, single bond, single bond, three of them. Right, so you just take note of all the bonds that are supposed to be broken here. The three HH bond, HH bond, and one of the N triple bond N. Okay, the second is your energy release in the products. So you have six of this NH bond given here. Okay, so energy release. Is there should be a negative sign in front because it is exothermic. Bond breaking is energy absorbed. So there's a positive sign in front, which we don't need to put. So when you put these two together, right, you get a negative enthalpy change, which means that it is exothermic. Okay, iron catalyzed the reaction. Explain how iron affect the rate of reaction. It will provide alternative pathway with lower EA so more particles will possess the minimum energy to react more effective collision faster rate of reaction okay so you got to remember this train of thought yeah lower EA with alternative pathway so more particles have the minimum EA more effective collision faster rate of reaction in fact this last two line right more effective collision and faster rate of reaction is fairly common Okay, so we can use it for catalyst, for temperature, etc. Okay, part C, other than iron catalyst, state the conditions. Other conditions is 450 degrees Celsius and 200 atm. Okay, next they say, explain why the gases are mixed in a 1 to 3 ratio. Uh, obviously, it's mixed in 1 to 3 because from the reaction, they react in 1 to 3 ratio. Okay, so you want to mix them in stoichiometric amounts so that you get the maximum yield without any excess reactant. Hi parents and students, I'm Mr. Kwa, founder and principal tutor from Mr. Chemistry. I do these videos to help more students understand difficult chem concepts and hopefully more needy students who are not able to afford tuition, they can benefit from these videos. Please help me click that like button and share it with your friends so that more students can benefit. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.